So this is my uh, Railcore 250ZL uh, printing with Mandela Roseworks dual hot end carriage. It's a Y carriage, you can see it right here. Um, it's aluminum. Uh, it's got two, two hot ends. This one's adjustable in height. So you set it up with this one on this side uh, until it paper tests, and then you loosen these screws and push this and that until it paper tests. After you level the bed as well as you can, uh, you know, I usually run, I ran three or four cycles. As you can see, it's not, it's not plowing, I don't know if you can see, but the, there's no nozzle plowing, so um, the alignment works really well that way. It was pretty simple to do. Um, if you, if you, I think a lot of the problems associated with dual extrusion are because of beds that aren't quite level. And it's not an issue we have on the rail core. So I think, uh, I think it's uh, all in all, it works really well. It's 25 millimeters nozzle tip to nozzle tip, which means that you give up um, a total of 50 millimeters in Y here, because it's twice the nozzle distance. But uh, if you're willing to give up the 50 millimeters and you want dual extrusion, I think it's a good, uh, it's a good, good kit. And I don't know when Wade's going to make that available, but, but um, I just figured I'd show it off a bit.